Part 4. We are going to continue with the rules for the four basic operations. We are going to focus on brackets. You will find this on page 75 in the Namibia Mathematics Grade 9 textbook y equals mx plus c to success. Brackets. Multiplication of a polynomial by a monomial. So that just means that there will just be one term in front of the bracket. Okay, but inside the bracket there can be three or two terms, three terms, four terms and so on. Okay, so simplify this. Now what do I do? I take this term in front of the bracket and I multiply it with every term inside the bracket. So multiply the factors in front by each of the terms inside the bracket. So I say 2x times x, that will be 2x squared. And 2x times 2, that will be 4x. Okay, now example 8. Simplify this and this. Now the big problem is, and I want to show this to you, in front of this is a positive, and, and I will tell you now the story of the red robot and the green robot. Okay, so basically, if there's a positive in front of the term, which is in front of the bracket, then you can just go on. You don't have to focus so much on the signs. So you can just say 3a squared times 2a, and that will just be 6, and there's 2 plus 1, so a to the power of 3. Then 3 times negative 2, that's negative 6, a to the power of 5, b. Okay, it's like multiplication a. But if you have a negative, now this positive is like a green robot. When you come to a green robot, you can just go. You don't have to worry about accidents and things because people will wait for you. And that's the same. The signs, you can just go. Your signs will work out. But if you come to a negative in front of the bracket, then it's like a red robot. You must stop and you must think of your signs. Otherwise, you're going to make a sign accident. Because look, you must say a negative times a negative will give me a positive. And a negative times a negative, there's two negative signs that's an even number. So that will give me a positive. And then 5 times 1 is 5. There's x1 plus x2 to the power 2. That's 3. There's x times x. That's x2. And then just that y. So be careful if you see a negative in front of the bracket. Okay. I want you to do try now 8. And I want you to do a, b, as well as number e. Stop the video, and as soon as you are finished, you can continue with the video. I'm trying now 8, and I'm at number A. Okay, so it's 3. It's A plus 2B plus 4C, and that will give me an answer. Now, remember, there's a positive. Don't worry too much. Your signs will work out. So 3 times A, that will be 3A. Three, 3 times 2B, that will be 6B. And 3 times 4, that will be 12C. And that's my final answer. Okay. So the next one, number B. Ooh, you must think. You must stop. You must think of your signs. You must concentrate on the signs. And I'm going to take that red and I'm going to show you. It's a red robot. Stop and think. So if you say negative times a positive, how many negative stripes are there? Just one. So the sign will be negative. Now usually this is not your problem. It's with the second term. So 3 times 2, that's 6 and that's A. Okay, here's the problem. A negative times a positive. How many negative stripes? It's one. It's an odd number. So the sign will change from a positive to a negative. And then 3 times 2, that's 6, and B. And that is your final answer. Okay. So basically that was try now 8, and it was number B. Now the last one is number E. Let's just write number E. Now it's negative, and then it's just X squared minus 2Y squared plus 3. Okay. Now remember, if this stands nothing, there's a 1. 
And do you see the red robot? Stop. Think of your signs. So negative 1 times x squared is negative x squared. Negative, because there's one stripe. That's odd number, so it's negative. Okay, but now look. A negative times a negative. How many negative stripes? There's two. That's an even number, so the sign will be positive. 1 times 2, that will be 2. And that will be y squared. And then a negative times a positive. How many negative stripes? I just see 1. So it's a negative. And 1 times 3, that will be 3. And that will be my final answer. Okay. Let's look at the next one. Still with brackets. Now, in the next one, you must first count the terms. So, so let's count. Remember, there's one, let's just get a color, there's one term, and there is one term. Okay, I'm going to clean it. Just So, did you see? There's one term, and there is one term. So, first, I must think of both masks. I must always first multiply out the bracket. So, what do I do with this term? I just rewrite it. And now I start, oh, and don't forget, there's a what? A negative. So think of your signs. So 2x times x is negative 2x squared. Okay, but now, a negative times a positive. How many negative stripes? Just one. So it's an odd number, so the sign will be negative. Not positive, negative. Then 2 times 2, that will be 4x. And now, after you did multiplication, you are going to go to addition and subtraction. You are going to simplify this by adding the like terms. So can you see this two, this two, this two? They are like terms. So 5 minus 4, that's 1. You don't have to write the 1 x. Remember, if we add and subtract, we add or subtract the number, and we keep the variable the same. And what do we do with this one? We just rewrite. So our, our answer will have two terms. Okay, so there are two terms. Rewrite the single term and multiply the brackets out. That's what we did. And mark the like terms and add them. Okay. Like terms are always added during simplification. Okay. So I want you, again, I want you to do the following for me. Um, oh, let's just get that. Do for me number A as well as number B as well as number E, as well as number G. Try now nine. You can stop the video, and as soon as you are finished, you can continue with the video. Okay, let's start. Try now nine. Let's start with number one A. So it's seven plus three bracket X minus one. Now, now this is green. It's a green robot. Look, there is one, two terms. So what do I do with this one? I just rewrite it, and this is a positive, so your signs will work out. So 3 times x will just be 3x, and 3 times negative 1 will just be negative 3. And now my like terms, like, like, and what do I do if it's like? So 7 minus 3, what will that be? That will be, let's just rewrite, that will be 4 plus 3x. Remember, you can also write 3x plus 4, as long as the term and the sign in front of it is the same. Okay, the next one, number B. So this is 3x minus 4. It's more or less the same, but look, in front of this bracket is a negative, a red robot. Stop, think of your signs. So let's start. Rewrite this one. Now, Negative 4 times positive 2, what will the sign be? Just one negative stripe, so it's negative. 4 times 2, it's 8x. Usually this is not your problem. This is your problem. A negative multiplier positive, what will this be? This will be a negative because there's just one negative sign. It's an odd number, so the sign is negative. Then 4 times 5, what will that be? 20. Now I'm just going to highlight my like terms. So this is like, like unlike. So let's just simplify this. Now think of your signs. A positive 3 minus 8. If the signs are different, what do I do? I subtract. I get 5. What was the biggest movement? That was negative. So it's negative 5x minus 20. That's your answer. Let's look at number E. Um, let's just rather keep it to, to white. Okay, number E. 
Now that will be 7x minus, and now don't forget, if there's nothing in front of the bracket, there's a 1. But again, look, ooh, negative. So think of your signs. Okay, let's start. Rewrite the 7x. Negative 1 times x is negative x. Now, here's the sign accident. A negative times a negative. How many negative stripes are there? Two. It's an even number, so the sign will be positive. One times three is three. Now, your like terms. Seven, this. So seven minus one, what will that be? That will be six x. And rewrite the three. Okay, and that's my answer. Now, we just have to make space for the final one. Okay, and the final one, um, let's just do it in blue, number G. So this one is like this. Okay, now we will first identify our terms. So look, this is one, two terms. So all that you have to do is multiply this in, multiply this in. Now this is actually nice because this is a positive and a positive. So you don't have to worry too much about the signs. Okay, so if I look at this one, this will give me 3x, this one negative 3y, this one plus 4x, this one 4 times 2, it's 8y. Okay, and now I'm just going to look for my like terms. Like, like. Um, then this one, oh, I can just use another like. If I sum 3 plus 4, what will that be? 7x. Negative 3 plus. If the signs are different, what do I do? I subtract. So I get 5. What is the biggest movement? Positive. And then just the y. Okay. Just for finals, and, and I didn't ask you to do it, but you can stop first, and then you can do it, and then you can continue the video. I'm just going to do i. The reason why I want to do i is just because there's a negative. So if I look at number i, it's 7b, and then it's a plus 2 minus, and then it's 3b plus 3. Remember, there's a 1. Now, look here. I want to show you. This is a positive, or right with the signs. This is a negative. Concentrate on your signs. So if I start, I say 7b times a, that will give me an answer of 7ab. This times this, what will this give me? Uh, 14b, all signs, think of your signs. So this one is still all right, but here, a negative times a positive. There's one negative stripe, odd number, so the sign will be negative. 1 times 3 is 3. And now my like terms, um, if I mark this, uh, this looks, um, it's only two that, that's like. The rest is unlike. So if I simplify this, I'm just going to say 7ab, 14 minus 3, what will that be? 11b, remember to get, keep your variable the same, it's addition and subtraction, and then just rewrite that one. So this to this was multiply, but this to this, it's just addition or subtraction. Okay, and this is how you deal with brackets.